that you tend to think, this is going to sound really, might sound really awkward, but when we get to the New Testament, we think more about Jesus. <laughs>、uh, yeah, my question is about the Holy Spirit.、Uh, we haven't spoken a lot about the Holy Spirit in the past three semesters, and just kind of wondering your thoughts of where the Holy Spirit fits into the whole supernatural biblical narrative. Yeah, I think the most obvious place is that when the, the Spirit indwells, it, this is the same presence of God that, you know, would be in the tabernacle, in the temple. You know, the Spirit of God, the glory cloud is usually the way it's described in the Old Testament. And so that indwells believers now, which is why we're sacred space. I think that's sort of the most transparent、um, connection point. I mean, there, there is the new covenant, okay? Because there, as soon as I say this, people are going to be thinking, well, you know, how, how were people righteous in the Old Testament without the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and all that? But part of the new covenant is that the Spirit would do that, would indwell believers, okay? Would, would give them, you know, turn their heart of stone into a heart of flesh so that they would follow the Lord. It refers to the, you know, the, the internal presence of God prompting people to do what they need to do, you know, to, to you know, have this relationship that God wants. And so that is, that is linked in passages like Ezekiel 36, you know, then 37, obviously, a few other passages to David, specifically in Ezekiel 37, the new David that will rule over all 12 tribes. And so there you have a link between the coming of the Spirit. And the coming of the Messiah. And that, goes, you know, that gets factored into why, and we did cover this in class, why you know, Jesus you know, would, would say things like, you know, I've told you guys before, you know, I'm going I'm to die, I'm going to rise again, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to ascend you know, to be with the Father when I go. And I must go, because when I go, then you know, the Comforter is going to come. You know, the, in some cases, the Spirit. And, and that's essential because that, the, the, the Spirit's presence is the overt demonstration, and think Pentecost here, the overt demonstration that the new covenant era has begun. So the Spirit has a, has a very significant role in making believers sacred space. He has a, an absolutely crucial role in, again, the. The, the true inauguration of the new era.、Um, those are the two most important things, I, I think. I mean, there, there's also, you know, there's certain things said about the Spirit. We covered them a little bit in class in 102 that explain where we get our, our Trinitarian theology, really, because it links back to the two Yahwehs, you know, paradigm of the Old Testament. So there's a little bit of that, but, but theologically, it's those two things. And since the Spirit of God is going to be the, the agent which baptizes believers into this thing called the body of Christ, that's going to be linked to the notion that the Spirit gives gifts to those in that body to carry out the Great Commission and for the care of the body of Christ, the church. So basically, the Spirit is all over this. It's just that we're, you tend to think, this is going to sound really, might sound really awkward, but. When we get to the New Testament, we think more about Jesus. <laughs> you know, we, we think more Christology, kind of for obvious reasons, than we do pneumatology, but they're, they're inseparable. And, and again, I, th- I think this is part of why, you know, Paul will say on two or three occasions that the Lord is the Spirit. You know, he, he is, but he isn't. I mean, he's still Jesus, and he's at the right hand of God, but he's also here. And, You know, Paul will link these two things very, very explicitly in certain occasions, you know, to make the point that just like in the Old Testament, you know, you got two Yahwehs, they're the same, but yet they're different. So now we've got the Spirit who is Jesus, but he isn't, just like Jesus is, but isn't the Father. It's the same thing going on. So that all these things are, are interconnected, but we tend to, Jesus gets the stage time. <laughs> Which again sounds really weird, but, but we, we just default to Christology when we think New Testament theology. But the, 
there's a lot more tandem stuff going on than you realize.